Hi everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Waylon. And our family's been vegan for five years. We have six young kids and we share on YouTube our experiences going vegan as a family. From vegan food reviews to our family trips, we've even shared our vegan pregnancies. And today we're going to show you how we took this recent grocery haul and turned it into 168 meals to feed our family of eight for one week. Now this grocery haul came out to about $200 and it should last us about a month. So those 168 meals will cost about $50 for the week. Now we got those groceries from Kroger and Whole Foods last week, but if this is what your grocery store shelves look like right now, we wanted to share with you some key items that are probably still on the shelf. And they are versatile, they're low cost, and most importantly, they make meals that our kids absolutely love. So let's jump right in and we're gonna share those products with you and the meals that we made for the week. All right, so the first item is TVP, which is textured vegetable protein. Up next, we have vital wheat gluten. Next, we have mung dal, which is split mung beans. But if you can't find those split mung beans, you can always go ahead and get yourself some garbanzo bean flour. And a potato. And a potato. <laughs> <laughs> and liquid smoke. And up next, a little tip. We do vegan date night at home pretty much every week anyway, and this is just a little splurge, and we highly recommend you do the same. And agave is a great sweetener of choice. It has a low glycemic index, and it's our family favorite. Now let's jump into our meals for the week. So first up, we're gonna be making these loaded vegan omelets, which we're gonna use split mung beans for the recipe. Now the first thing you need to do with the mung beans is actually soak them overnight for about eight hours and then you want to go ahead and add that to a blender along with all of your spices. This is our favorite black salt. You can find this on Amazon. We'll put a link to it in the description box below. Once you add your plant-based milk and blend, it is ready for the skillet. So you add vegan butter or oil that you want to use. Then you go ahead and you pour the mixture all throughout the pot and you let it fry pretty much just like a regular omelet. Be very careful when you flip it over and you cover it and you let that sit for about four minutes. We are choosing to use Daya cheddar shreds, which I know people are very opinionated about. You gotta make sure you get that cutting board collection. You gotta get that though. cutting board collection. We've been telling you all this for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, they're a great vegan cheese brand. And go ahead, spread your cheese and then add those breakfast potatoes in there. And when I tell you, this was a delicious alternative Delight. to just egg. The kids loved it. I mean, come on. Delightful. Look at that. It's beautiful too, man. Look, look at, at it. That. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at that. Just look at it. Smack that. <laughs> there you go, smack it. Just, just like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, guys, no, seriously, if you have not tried it, definitely try it out. We're gonna put the recipe down below in the description box. And that is the final product. We had it along with some homemade bread, of course, vegan. We're gonna show you the recipe for that right now. It's just four ingredients. All you're gonna need is just some flour, some salt, some yeast, and some water. And that is it. You mix it. Guys, you don't even have to touch this. You don't even have to touch it. And it Ever still comes up. <laughs> if it if it is a little dry, you can add a tiny bit of water and then mix it because you want the dough to be a little bit sticky. Just a little. Yes, just a little. And then you cover it with plastic wrap. Let it rise overnight. By the next day, it should look like this. You put it on a floured surface. You cover it again for 30 minutes, and then you put it in the baking pan until you're ready to pop it in the oven. Look below for more detailed instructions. But that's basically it. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Oof. Guys, when I tell you this was the easiest bread, I've now made about 18, 18 loaves of this bread in the past eight days. 18 loaves. <laughs> and it's absolutely delicious. Put some vegan butter on that bad boy and you're good to go. 
<laughs> for lunch, we're having vegan ground beef, which we're gonna serve on top of penne pasta. For that, you need TVP, which is a textured vegetable protein. You wanna add your TVP to a bowl. And then if you have vegetable broth, go ahead and use that. I like to just make my own using some better than bouillon and water. And then you wanna add liquid smoke, some ketchup, and your preferred spices. Once you bring all of that to a boil, you mix, and then you wanna go ahead and pour that on top of your TVP, then add some more spices. As you mix it and it starts to rehydrate the TVP, you'll notice it starts looking like vegan ground beef, and that's kind of the secret of it. It's soy, so you can flavor it however you wanna flavor it, and it will absorb all of those flavors. You wanna let that sit for about a couple hours, you can use do a half an hour, the longer you let it sit, the better. And then you wanna go ahead and get the skillet prepared for the meat. And you're gonna treat this like you would regular meat. So whatever vegetables you like to season up your meat in, you can go ahead and use those. Since we're doing a pasta dish, we just put some, what's that, garlic. Some garlic, some peppers, and some tomatoes. Yes. And so I went ahead, mixed that up in there. And again, you wanna treat it like regular meat. And already at this point, the house is smelling like a straight up Italian, Italian restaurant. Italian restaurant. Yes. But yeah, we made a video on this. You guys, if you wanna see more details on how to then turn this into meatballs, burgers, meatloaf, go ahead and check out that video up here. So you add your pasta sauce to it and you mix it around. We add a little bit of agave. You let that simmer. My favorite meal, hands down. Now for dinner, we have tofu stew, which we served over white rice with some avocado on the side. Bread, optional. Never optional. Never <laughs> optional. <laughs> well, first you wanna cube up your tofu. You wanna go ahead you and fry it. You can marinate it overnight too. You can marinate it, get some extra flavor in there. But you wanna go ahead and fry that tofu up. And then you wanna put that in a separate pot to the side. And now you're gonna make your roux. We use better than bouillon, some seasoning, as well as some water to make that broth. Just let that simmer. You add some flour, you mix it around, and it should look something like this. You start adding your vegetables, some agave, more seasoning. Always more seasoning. Always more seasoning. <laughs> more veggies. You add your beans, and it should look something like this when you're done. And then you add your tofu back in there Cover it up, get that to a simmer, and you're ready to serve it over that white rice. Now you can also add some kale to the side, but either way, them kids are gonna clean them plates. If this video has been helpful to you so far, go ahead and hit that like button. And if it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll wait. All right, let's get into days three to five. Now for breakfast, we just did some typical oatmeal, but we did add some hemp seeds that are actually high in essential fats. Omega-3s and omega-6. Throw some 9s in there, some 12s. What? <laughs> now for lunch, we had basically the same thing we had the day before, except instead of the tofu, we used this plant-based sausage, which is from Kroger, Simple favorite, Truth man. brand. It's our favorite plant-based sausage. And yeah, that's how it turned out. Absolutely delicious. The kids loved this too. Yes. And we just wanted to show you guys meals that you can kind of repeat. Now for dinner, we had a simple vegetable soup with bread on the side, which we used that fancy bow tie pasta in, and it was absolutely delicious. Yeah, so here are the ingredients that we use, but basically whatever you have on hand, go ahead and throw it in there. Whatever vegetables you have that are fresh or frozen, throw them in there, you know, it's soup. It's soup you know, y'all know how simple. soup goes. Um, and we used this mix, it was really delicious for our second day of soup. So yeah, definitely put soup on your menu. Absolutely. Very versatile. What's been your favorite recipe so far? Go ahead and leave a comment below and let us know. All right, let's get into days six and seven. For breakfast, we went ahead and made some tofu scramble which we added that sausage to that we love so much, some avocado, some breakfast potatoes, and some steamed kale and some bread. And then for lunch, the kids wanted avocado toast, so we had that on my homemade bread, and then this smoothie was like hemp seeds, spinach, Do some kale mangoes, kale, yeah. yeah, super healthy. And then as a little snack on the side of lunch, 
I made some granola bars, super easy, just some oats and then peanut butter, agave, and some chocolate chips, and we added, of course, some hemp seeds. We tend to add hemp seeds in pretty much thing. everything. I get that protein. But yeah, you gotta you gotta add that in there. And so yeah, you go ahead and you mix it, and then once it's all mixed, you go ahead and you empty it into your tray. Make sure you line it in parchment paper so it's really easy to pull it out when you're ready. Go ahead and shape it with your spatula, and yeah, look how cute, look how pretty. Perfecto. It's pretty. Um, and then, yeah, you cut it up, put it in little, you know, make it look cute, make it look pretty. And this is Beautiful. what the final result was. Our kids love these. And finally, we have our chicken pot pie, which we had for dinner. We have a recipe on the channel already where we use our own biscuit crust. So we Second highly, yeah, oh my gosh, it's <laughs> obsessed. But okay, so to make this, you want to go ahead and as usual, start with vegetable broth and that's how we make our vegetable broth and then the scallopini we just cooked it halfway in the air fryer and then cut it up and these are the other ingredients that are going to be going inside that broth so you add all of your vegetables you add your chicken and then you want to go ahead and pour the broth right on top of it so that it covers it bring it to a boil and then you want to pour that broth over onto the side and then you want to have your chicken mix separate from that you want to go and add your onions caramelize your onions with some flour some butter and then you want to start adding that broth back in and then alternately you want to add plant-based milk and then some more broth and plant-based milk season it up then your son will walk by wearing tap shoes and you just have to film it because it's so cute <laughs> All right, so now we have the gravy. This is what we're going to be using, the Pillsbury dough dough sheet, but I highly recommend you guys check out our homemade biscuit recipe instead because I just wasn't the biggest fan of the way that the... Yeah, it, it was a little tough to handle. And yeah. We didn't think we would have to do that much work. That's why yeah. we got it. But yeah, I would have just we, made my own. <laughs> as, we, as you can see, we had to roll out the rolling pin there. Yeah, grab your rolling pins, ladies. <laughs> All right, so... Go ahead and you add your chicken and your vegetables to the bottom of your pan. And then you're gonna pour your gravy on top, get it nice and level. And that's what it looks like when it's ready for the crust. And you can go ahead. And just put your crust and on And then there. you add your crust on there. Just put that thing on there. <laughs> put that thing on there. <laughs> <laughs> and you go ahead and you score it with the fork. And then it is ready for the oven. Was that fork scoring? A little fork scoring? A little light score. <laughs> <laughs> then you put it in the oven, and then this is the final product right here, guys. Delicioso. You just made chicken pot pie. If you've never made chicken pot pie, you just done done did it. So yeah, make sure you guys follow us over on Instagram. We actually shared a little preview of this video last week on Instagram. So. Follow us on there if you want to stay up to date with us throughout the week in between videos. And as always, guys, don't forget to like, mm. comment, eh. subscribe, eh share, <laughs> and don't forget to drink your almond milk.